guys. Welcome back to Seriously Podcast. I'm Brittany. I'm Mary. Um, If you're new to the show, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Seriously Podcast is a podcast dedicated to web series where we break down each episode and share our questions, comments, and concerns. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. That's what we do here. (laughs) And we're so glad that you are listening and tuning in as we dig deeper into Pillow Talk, which is a crossover from the hit series, the um, Emmy-nominated series, Tough Love. Talk about it. Never forget that Emmy. Never. Daytime Emmy. Never. Daytime Emmy and now on TV, Cleo TV, Tough Love. Oh, my God. Um, big so tings. <laughs> big tings. So this is Pillow Talk. Um, should we do like a little recap from episode one? Yeah. A little okay. quick quick little reminder. A little quick reminder. Pillow Talk follows um, Lyric Loved Lady Jones. She's out here. <laughs> Lyric Loved Lady Love Jones. Loved Lady Jones. <laughs> she is a dating expert, um, if you will. Mm-hmm. She ain't got no love out here. She don't got, she's a love expert with no love. Yeah. Recently. Recently, and she got fired, so she's like, let me start a podcast to preach mm-hmm. to the people, because mm-hmm. she has a big following. Mm-hmm. And it's just, she she um falls for this guy who's an Uber driver. Yeah, she's interested. She has a crush on this guy. Right. And um, she's also a daytime therapist, if you will. She is, she is. A dating therapist. Yes. And her new client is also interested in, in this In the guy. same guy. So she's in a bit of a pickle. 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 She's in a bit of a pickle. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then we also see her friends and um, stuff, and there everybody's getting into some things. So right. let's pillow talk. Let's do let's it. Pillow talk. So um, we're doing episode two. Yeah. We, yeah. Let's get into episode <laughs> two of pillow talk. <laughs> so Nina and Jason, they're pillow talking about everything. Talking about um, lyric love lady. Literally pillow talking. Li- yeah, they're literally pillow talking. That's what it is. Yeah. So what's she gonna do? Is she just gonna keep the girl as a client and forget that he even took her home that night? How's she gonna do that? Try and block him out of her brain, I guess. I don't know. Sounds like a conflict of interest to me. All I know is Lyric is out here violating client doctor privilege. Ooh, because she's telling Kiki people business. In. She's kicking people's business. She's pillow talking <laughs> with the people's business. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Because even Jason said, isn't that a conflict of interest? But I don't see how it's really a, really a conflict of interest. It like, is you met him she, once, though. I mean, but she's clearly interested because she remembers him from a month ago. <laughs> a month ago. <laughs> like, girl. <laughs> what is your life that you remember someone oh from a God. month ago? She, it, he, he had a hold on her. He left a lasting impression. And she didn't even want to be bothered with him. That's right. the crazy part. Like, if you was really that into him, you would have given Gave him your number or like, you know, she was so distraught about like what she found out about her ex at well, her boy, her fiance at the time. Mm-hmm. So, you know, she so was in another you, world. You don't even need to be thinking about him anyway. You need to get over. You about to get you about to marry that dude. So marry. You, to, you don't even need to be dating right now, sis. But she mm-hmm. out here giving advice. <laughs> Just gonna let that slide. <laughs> Um, so later on, Jason's friends, they come through, and Nina's in the room working on a non-canvas mannequin. Like, girl, what were you doing? <laughs> a non-canvas mannequin. She's trying to, like, put something on, like, the window display. I didn't even peep the Did mannequin. Did you peep the mannequin? No. <laughs> said, girl, cut it out. <laughs> Let's stop this madness. Listen, she's a designer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stop this madness. But where's it? It ca- was. <laughs> What are you pinning to? What are you pinning, honey? You need a cloth, like a cloth mannequin. Yes, That's the not canvas what work one. Says. Girl. She thinks she's doing something. She really thought she was out here. Look, look at the window. <laughs> Can you stop, miss? Stop this. A window display. <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it out. Maybe she's a visual merchandiser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. Let's, Let's go, go with that. that. All right. So um, Jason ends up. Bringing over his problematic friend from Tough Love, I hate like him. this guy goes everywhere. Jason goes. I hate him. Jason pretends he don't like this boy, but, but he keeps he's always bringing him around. around. And Jason had a whole crew of new friends <laughs> last season. So where are they at? Why is he still around? I have no idea. All he does is talk junk, talk mess, and he uh. ends up like bashing Monica. Well, he better than that mean ass bitch, Monica. That's all I'm saying. That rock wild is vicious. Y'all <laughs> feel fucked up, dog. Real shit. You don't need to talk about it like that, bro. You know, matter of fact, you don't need to talk about it at all. So, but she had a right not to like you. Like, right. she wasn't crazy. Like, you called Alicia out her name. Right. You just... You, you just, tried to, like, attack her low-key. 
Because he was like trying to force himself on Alicia. He did. Yes, when he when they was at the apartment. Right. Yes. So why are you even still fooling around with this dude? Mm. Jason. Gotta watch him. Jason. So Nina ends up listening to Jason defending Monica. Like she got real upset about it. (laughs) Big mad, and I don't understand why. (laughs) She um. She's convinced that he still has feelings because once, for Monica because he had told his friend, chill out with all that. Like, don't even mention my ex no more. Like, next subject. Yeah. She, she had a problem he with that. He manned up. He didn't like how he defended her. How he was checking his problematic friend about talking about another black woman. And You're I, upset. Yes. And he, I already warned you that this, doc, this dude is crazy. So yeah. he's going to get out of pocket. So right. I was just checking him. And, I, and it could have been just he was getting fed up with him because he already he was bringing up Nina. Like, mm-hmm. oh, you know, she cool. She cool. But, oh, that old girl. Like, why even bring her up? And also, why you bring her up while my girlfriend's here? Like, Speaking why, of, my name's not even is that his girlfriend? Nina? Yeah, because I, I didn't get that from the first episode. I got that they just had a crush on each other and that they were no. messing around in this episode no, I but i didn't know that like everyone knew that they were together i didn't get that vibe. no they were I, yeah from episode one they, she said even um lyric love lady she was like oh something some you dating my brother like dating i didn't know that they were like together together no, like a is, thing this is a thing this is a thing jason don't do jason don't do little <laughs> things he goes full <laughs> in go hard or go home this is what jason does okay so she's hurt which i mean yeah she shouldn't have been but she clearly has an insecurity about the history that Monica and Jason had. Mm-hmm, and she, mm-hmm. is, so for some reason, wants to compete with that. She, like, she wants to be the number one, which is understandable. But, sweetheart. Yeah. What are you mad about? You sh- she shouldn't have got that mad. Because even he, even once they left and he came in and he started kissing up on her. And she was cried out. You saw, you could tell she was in there crying her eyes crying. out. Crying. Crying. And he was confused. He was like... What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? I thought you was in here making clothes. Like, what are, what are you mad about? What did you make? <laughs> like, what happened? So, and she's like, you still love her. And it's just like, they, how long ago answer, right? did they break up? That's the thing. What is the timeline from the tough love ending to now? Yeah, we need it that It got to be five months, six months, a year. I don't he grew know. up full what, beard, Dre, so I don't know. What did Dre say? We'll get to him in a minute. Moving on to the next couple. <laughs> So yeah, so we get into we see Robin. Robin got this new boo. Shout out to him. He's from our two K life days. Mm-hmm. Loved him more. Um, but I didn't get his name in the show. Either. I don't think he had a name. Yeah, I have a name. Boy, just boy. Trash. Fuck boy, if you want to go with F that. boy. <laughs> so they're having sex in a car, and she is fed up. Like I'm not doing this no more with but you. She is. <laughs> but she, I ain't do. I mean, I'm just saying it. But I mean, we can still do it. Right. Because he don't want her in his house. And well, she's not she don't want to go to his house, and she don't want him in her house. No, he won't let her come to his house. This Come scene on. was triggering. Yeah, I know. I know it was. So I was just like, Ronnie and Caleb, y'all just going to write about my life? Possibly. <laughs> I mean, I never, you know, did nothing in nobody's car. But I, <laughs> my last flow was living with his ex. Last and I said it, flow. Last flow was living with his ex. And that was, that was different. It was difficult. That was, yeah. Because, mm-hmm. like... Yeah, he says nothing's going on. Yeah, we're over, but it's weird. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. I feel like we can't really move forward like because the girlfriend is still in the picture. Right. So he tried to prove a point by saying, like, she don't want me, I don't want her, by calling the ex. just wanted to call you let you know I'm out with somebody, and I might not be coming home tonight. What you telling me for? That ain't my business. Bye. See? We ain't even like that no more. And the way he vibed, that probably was his sister. You never know. Oh, his best friend. His that, best friend, right. Like, why? For him. who would legit say, why are you calling me and telling me this? Like, right. I don't know. But Robin, she kind of pretends she doesn't care. But yeah, Oh, she cares. She cares. That girl cares. Because she, she was like, ain't no problem. I'm just letting you know. Then why you bring it up? It's a problem, she sis. Cares. It's a problem. She cares. And it's okay. If you have feelings, <laughs> it's okay. She don't want to show that though. She's a feminine thug. She don't want to show that. <laughs> so people saying like she's the Jordan of the show. Mm. But Jordan wouldn't care what you're doing. No. She would not care at all. You would come to her house because she definitely ain't coming to your house anyway. So right. she wouldn't care. So she finally lets him come over. And they end up having sex. So at some point, he steps out to go get some water and starts flexing on the gram. 
with his 11 followers. Sir. Who does that? What are you doing? Who does that? Sir, what are you doing? <laughs> that was hilarious. Like, you're so corny. You're whack for that. You're a cornball. You're out here. I'm in the other room. Mind you, he's like, her, her house is nice. This is nice. Look where I'm at, y'all. <laughs> Like, I'm, if, if that was one of the people on my I'm, I'm following you. Are you telling you. me that your house is not nice? That's like, what I got from that. Like, you're so impressed with her home? And, I mean, no, not knocking the house. It was nice, but it wasn't like, oh, a Miami it condo. It wasn't like a condo. It was like, just like a regular old apartment. Like, where do you live? <laughs> sir. Sir. And, like, obviously, she follows you. Y'all follow each other. Right. You think she wasn't going to get the notification? Sir. She's what pissed. are you trying to prove? So he's out the picture, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> and that's, please, hopefully. He's trash. You better not talk to him no more. All right, so let's get into Lyric Love Lady Jones. So she's doing her podcast. Unfortunately, there are no mathematical formulas that can help us figure out the amount of time it takes to get over an X. For some, it may take five days, and for others, it could take five years. But... There are a select few who believe there are exes that you never move past. We just get better at pretending we are. Let's talk about that. This was triggering too. I know. And it is. That's very true. Because when you meet someone new, Mm -hmm. you are basically comparing that person to what you are experiencing in front of you. Yes. Let me get my Iyanla on. Experiencing in front of you. (laughs) Compared to what you were comfortable with. Hello. Yes. They always you always compare to the last one. Yeah. And it's not until you fully like get involved with the next one, then then that's when you kind of get over the last one. Kinda. Kinda. It all depends on the level of where you were with that ex. Right. And they always say you never get over your first love. Mm-hmm. And that's I think it's because that's your first time having that euphoric it, like feeling mm. of loving mm. someone besides your family mm. or your friends like yep. you love them on a different level yeah so i can understand when they say you'll never get over that person yeah i understand it <laughs> have you ever felt it i said i understand it <laughs> <laughs> i can see some that happening to someone i can see that happening to <laughs> those that are different from um. me you're annoying. <laughs> um, oh, God. Um, I can agree with mm-hmm. that. I can agree with that. I don't know if, like, I had an ex. Oh, God. <laughs> you saw me just. <laughs> I don't know if. It, I mean, whatever. I loved him, I guess, if you will, maybe. Maybe. Um, maybe. But the There's thing no about commitment it. There. <laughs> I mean, if you want to say that. I just think I knew, like, I loved him once, you know, things would happen, and I would still want him around. I still want to be, like, his friend, like, whatever. Um, but it's weird because even, like, when you get those, ex- you know, the next person, you kind he's always in the back of your head kind right. of almost. And, like, he understands parts of you that no one else will. Mm. Like, he'll understand, like, inside jokes and... The facial expressions that you make or anything that you say and this new person is not going to get it right right off the bat. And it's like, I don't feel like working to put you to that spot (laughs) where you'll understand me. Yes. (sighs) So how long do you think it takes to... I don't think there is a time. There's no time. No. Someone said, I think, I think it was on Sex and the City. I don't know. That's my show. (laughs) But um, (laughs) that it takes um, half of the amount of time you've been with the person. So let's say you've been with the person for two years. It would take a year to get over them. Oh. Which I can, math? It's math. It's math. It's math and love? It's ma- I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> it's math and love. It's math and love, which okay. I can kind of see. So we move on to Lyric. She's with her client, Mia. Shout out to you, Moria. Hey, girl. Hey. And um, she's showing her these dating advice packages, which, what? First of all, yeah. what? It's a business. It's a business. Women are out here paying her to give her... People give them advice on like what to do on your first date. It's a hustle. That's crazy. It's a hustle. That's crazy. People always have problems with first dates, so I don't see why not. If she's a dating coach, yeah, dating coaches do stuff like this. I didn't know that. 
Um, so th- she ends up choosing this inner ear package. First of all, she out here selling something that she don't even hello. Recommend. <laughs> Yo, I said, girl, that's what take I that said. out then. Why is it in there if you don't even recommend your own service? Mind you, it's the most expensive. Girl, you and, better take that and the least recommended. How, Sway? How does that work? How does that work? How? How does that work? Like, I'm going to charge you 500 for this, but I don't even recommend you using it. What? <laughs> Why would your highest thing be <laughs> what? If we're over here trying to do the hustle, like you say. It don't matter. And this person wants it. She didn't care nothing about the little five dollar, ten dollar packages. No, Girl. I want this one. This okay. is the one I want. And in her ear package was basically she's feeding her words to say. Basically, like, she's literally feeding her words to say on this first date. And mind you, this is the date with Dre, Dre, aka Uber Bay. Yes. Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> Mia wanted it. She's like, desperate times call for desperate measures. Like I'm desperate. She's, right. She's tired of the dating game. She's tired of. You know, not getting a call back after mm. the first date. She says she's mm. horrible at first date. Mm-hmm. Which, I, for me, I don't think I'm bad at first dates. Like, first, you, you're gonna you're gonna enjoy yourself. You're gonna have a good time. Maybe the initial, like before the date, maybe I'm bad at that part. Like the texting. But what's happening on the first date that you're Some so pe- nervous? I'm not nervous. No, like like yeah. for her, like it's happening because it's kind you, of like you've an been interview. Talk, you've been talking with this person. Like, how did they meet again? She said at they, a party. At a party. So, so maybe they, they didn't had, really like, engage. Uh, oh. at the party but maybe they didn't haven't really been texting he, maybe he just said oh let's go out Saturday and that's oh, been it sometimes okay. it comes like that okay you I know the first that. date is like an interview it is an interview but she she's should be interviewing best out. him but she's nervous I think because she has she so said, many failed uh, experiences uh-huh, uh-huh. and this is he's so gorgeous I want I want this to work okay. I want this to work okay she wants she wants a ring is what she's saying she wants a ring okay <laughs> <laughs> okay I get it girl I get it so she's on this date. Lyric is a table away. A table, like literally behind he could her. He can blink and say, "Isn't that? Didn't I drop you off that one time?" Like she's not even in disguise at all. Not even a hat, like glasses. What kind of package is this? She's feeding her words, and Lyric is on. Like hanging on his every word. Oh like my she's gosh. in love in the background. She <laughs> is on the best date of her life. <laughs> okay, let me do a talking now. I really like that you chose a black owned restaurant to eat at. I like that you chose a black owned restaurant to eat at. Yeah, well, I like to support my people. What about you? Okay. Mind you, this is not your date, ma'am. She is like, wow, I love that you chose this black on wrestling. Right? You, you, did you notice her voice kept changing? Yeah. <laughs> and then um, Mia's character, she was just so awkward. So I awkward. love this black restaurant. He was awkward, too, though. He was awkward, too. They both were awkward. This whole date okay. was awkward. So you guys belong together. <laughs> So this is perfect. This is great. This is great. So yeah, so Lyric, love lady, she's loving everything that he's saying. Uh, oh my God. And she just feeling the vibe. She asks, uh, so are you completely over Ooh, your yes. ex? I can honestly say I'm over her. I don't miss her. I don't desire her in any way. But am I completely over the way she treated me? And how she made me feel? How she made me question my career and myself as a man. That part, I'm not quite over. Not yet. Yeah. Said, oh, you hurt. He's real hurt. Hurt, hurt. Yes. Saying um, she belittled him. <laughs> Sorry. You're laughing. This is a serious matter, ma'am. I know. This is a very serious matter. Situation. He said, she made me question myself as a man. As a man. Made me question my, my life, my career, my, career. my life choices, <laughs> who I was. Was I even a man? <laughs> Dying laughing. This guy is hurting. I know. This guy is in pain. He might need therapy He's after traumatized this. to this day. Jordan, like what? Like what she said really affected him. Which is just crazy to me. <laughs> because Jordan, I mean, she I hurt know. you with her words. But because she, it. she was just like, it. you're a Uber driver. Yeah. <laughs> but you knew this, Jordan, so what you doing? Whew. 
That took me out. Oh, and he loved her. He loved her down. She was supposed to love him too. But she couldn't. She couldn't get past the Uber. Because <laughs> first of all, he's an Uber driver, but don't be driving nobody. And he's also um, a saxophone player. <laughs> first of all, he's a music artist. Don't play him. Don't play him. <laughs> He's he a saxophone player. He don't play the sax? <laughs> he do, but you just made it sound so, what is that? <laughs> but that's what he is. But he yeah. tours with that. He goes on tours. Remember? In Barely. S- in Tough Love, they was gearing up to go on tour. And that's why um, Jordan was like, okay, I'll move with you. What happened to that? Why exactly. are you back? <laughs> How about he never Did left? You go? <laughs> How about, we're talking about why he back. How about he never left? Did you get paid for that? Did they find somebody else? What happened? Save that. Save that. I understand why you're questioning yourself. (laughs) I it makes so much sense now. Oh no! Oh no! He said she made me question my career. Oh my god! I was in tears. Oh my god! But there's a thin line between. Because what if in Jordan's eyes she felt she was pushing him to be better? She probably was. Tough love. Tough love. She was giving him that tough love, and he was, you know, too tough. It was too tough. Just sit down. Let me be me. (laughs) Let me be me. Don't make me better. Try to upgrade me. <laughs> Don't try to upgrade How me. How dare you? <laughs> hey, Beyonce. Come on. So the episode ends with Lyric kind of talking about how common it's becoming of bringing in negativity and insecurity from a previous relationship into a new one. Secretly pushing our turmoil and confusion from the last situation onto our new partners. So my advice would be to wait until you're completely past your last heartache before embarking on a new journey of love. So you want people to never be dating. Yeah. Nobody's going to be And even she said, you know, that's easier said than done because getting under someone new doesn't really help you get over someone, even though that's something that we hear all the time. Yeah. To get over them, get under somebody else. I mean, most of the time it helps. But when that ends, you might go back to that very first one. Does it really help or just like... it? Affects distracts just helps, you. It distracts you. That's what it is. But like, but it all depends on how that last situation ended. That too. That too. And and how how so many factors. deeply invested you were. So many factors. So many factors. So many things. Oh it it all depends. All depends. For the most part, once you get a new person, you forget about the last one. If you, as long as you wasn't in love with them, because if love, they never. You never no. forget about them. They had a place. They, they had a part back. of your heart. That's they always they come said. back. They okay, do. how they did do. the episode end, Brittany? So the episode ends. Um, Lyric Lyric Jones, um, she gets a replacement by this dude who's just shading her up and down, <laughs> shading her. He's like, I don't know what y'all was listening to before, but I'm here. I'm here. I'm back. I'm better. She was trash. Woo! Like, sir. He was not here for Miss Lyric Jones sir! at all. <laughs> He said, I'm going to really show y'all how it's done. Because she was out here selling dreams. He said, if y'all really want to continue listening to a fantasy, go on to her little podcast. <laughs> go on to on SoundPod. <laughs> if you want to listen to a fantasy. But if you want to know what's happening in the real world and what real men are thinking. Mess with your boy. Then listen to me, all right? Tune into this. Because <laughs> I don't know what she's doing, but she's selling y'all pipe dreams pipe out here. Pipe dreams. <laughs> that was... That was... <laughs> I said, you know what? I'm not mad at him. <laughs> He's like, oh my God. All that shade, though. I mean, she ain't got no love, but she out here giving love advice. But it's life. It's life. It's a real woman. That's what happened. Who's helping her? <sighs> Ayama. <laughs> she just watching her every night. We get into the QCC. <laughs> <laughs> we have to. We have to. She said Ayama. Ayama. <sighs> All right, so let's get into the questions, comments, and concerns where we share our QCCs with you guys. Mm-hmm. And we also read from Twitter, YouTube, or anything that you submit to us on our website, seriouslypodcast.com. So, well, let's start with any that you have. Um, yeah, I have a few comments. Okay. Um, Nina, there yeah. is a high level of insecurity in her spirit. Mm. Mm. And I need her to look into that, you know? Mm. Check into that. Because you're mad about what? What was it that he could have said that would have made you smile? <laughs> like, anything he would have... Like, what, would you prefer he continue to let his friend bash this other woman and you just listen? Like, what was it that he could have done that would have right. satisfied you? Right. 
Mm-mm. And I don't think he said anything that was inappropriate. Like I saw, it was just like, like people come, people in the comments were like, it was his tone. But I think that's his tone anytime he talks to that guy because Cause that guy's like, annoying. Shut up! <laughs> shut up! Maybe um, she just wanted him to be like, yo, just chill, chill, bro. That don't work for that guy. He needs to hear a high Shut voice. Up. I think also he was mad. I don't think it was the point of don't talk about my Monica. Don't bring her up. He was just was annoyed. Annoyed. That guy's annoying. Yes. Shut up. And then it's just like, just like if y'all break up, he wouldn't want him talking about you that way. Right. Like that was my ex at that time. Then my girlfriend at the time. You don't need to be talking about her at all. At all. That's why he said we're next not subject. even. And I don't even want you. To, like, why are you bringing that up? My girl's in the other room. Like. There's no And you're need not for saying that. nothing like nice about her. You're saying things that are uncalled for. Like you yes. going in on her for what? What's she and ever do to you? Trash. Get out of my you're house. Tr- get out of my house. Get out of my life. I don't want to see <laughs> Tough Love Creators. I don't want to see him no more. No, I, don't I think see that him they no more. brought him back because maybe people like how annoying he is. Because he brings a, a drama. Drama. But he we, brings drama. We've had enough. <laughs> We're all set on the drama We're on that good. front. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for um, your time. Miss <laughs> Lyric, Lyric Jones, not Love Jones. She playing with fire out here. She is playing with fire. She was in the corner in love. In love. Tell me. So, Ether or Takeover. So you said that you're completely <laughs> over your ex. So you said. <laughs> That's how she said. <laughs> so with that time when you said. <laughs> like, girl. Yes, Ether was. Like, like, That's a classic. <laughs> And then you, and then freaking Mia. <laughs> she had me weak because she had no idea what the hell this she conversation was. No, what is an ether? What is an ether? Take over what? Like what? But as long as he's smiling, I'm smiling. <laughs> but he kept looking at her like, okay, like <laughs> what? Are you okay, ma'am? But you could tell she needed help because before you know they got started, she was like, oh, I would have waited here all day for you. Like, girl, calm down. Even Lyric was like, okay, shut up shut and up. listen to I'll, me. I got it. You're paying for me, so I'm, I'm just Wait do it. all night for a who? He, and no, he, ma'am. Even he was like, I doubt I, that. But, but I appreciate it. It's very noble of you. <laughs> it's very sweet. Very sweet. Um, Lastly, Miss Robin, you don't know what you want. Robin. She don't know what she wants. She is out here trying to be about that life. Mm. But you have feelings. You have a and heart. And it's okay. You it's have a okay. Heart. You like this dude. Yeah, you do. And you, you just you and it's also I think maybe she just wants maybe her self respect. Also. She don't wanna be having sex in nobody's car. Yeah. And we don't need to see that no more, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I could have done without that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> But people be out here. They like some people do that. They like the the rush of my, yeah, maybe yeah. getting caught. I know it happens. Mm-hmm. I'm saying I, as a viewer, don't need to see that. <laughs> it doesn't bring anything to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. It, but um, I I hope she ends it with him. I think definitely the corniness when the live that's yeah. gonna do for her. I need I need to understand what was. The reason that they got together, like what's so, what's so interesting about this guy? We didn't really get to see that. We just know that they have good sex. What's interesting about any guy? That's true. <laughs> you meet him, you vibe. Okay, let me see what's up, and then that's where they are. That's true. That's, that's true. where they are. But um, <clears throat> so um, a comment off of YouTube from Harrison Booth. He says. Um, I like how they humanize Dre. There's a huge amount of brothers putting up with <laughs> the same type of abuse. She's laughing already, guys. Um, because a lot of their mothers are like that, so they think it's normal. That was interesting. Whose mothers? Black mothers. Are like that towards whom? Um, their children, he's saying. I don't understand. As far as Jordan, like, you know oh, how... Jordan, like, how she's aggressive because she was raised that way? Is that okay. what he's saying? No. <laughs> Okay, he's okay. Humanize is that his name? Harrison. <laughs> his name is Harrison. <laughs> Humanize said. Humanize said. Harrison says that. Okay, I like how they humanize Dre. Right. Okay. He's a human. <laughs> There's a huge amount of brothers putting up with the same type of abuse from women mm-hmm. because a lot of their mothers are like that, so they think it's normal. I th- I think what Harrison is saying, <laughs> please. <laughs> That, you know, I guess a stereotypical black mom would like yell at boys or just like kind of put them down or mm-hmm. whatever. 
even though a mom, you know, they care about you, but they might say it in an aggressive way. So, like, it puts an effect on the boy. Oh. Like, being yelled at. Okay. Even it can't be black moms or just I moms in general. I completely disagree. Go ahead. Because I don't think black moms speak to Well, he's their... not saying black moms. He's just saying mother. So, I'm just saying that. But go ahead. Oh. Mothers. <laughs> <laughs> For uh, I'm gonna speak to yeah. black moms. I think they put their um, sons on a pedestal. Mm. I don't really think they put them down. Like they make them believe that they are the end all be all. And any woman should be um, so grateful to have them in their life. Mm-hmm. So I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. I mean, yeah, because you have a brother. Well, I have brothers too. Yeah, but- I have a brother, and my mom definitely does- puts him on a pedestal. On a pedestal. Like, I just, like he ain't nothing. He ain't nobody. <laughs> I could, I think I could see that too. It's definitely different. So maybe he's saying. So who you, is he referring to? Uh, moms treating. Okay, so maybe he's saying women. The, like the, um, the girls are raised that way. Maybe he's saying the girls are raised that way because see how their mothers treat them. So they take off that trying to be that motherly figure to their oh, boyfriends. Okay, then I understand. I can see that has Harrison. Harrison, what you saying? Harrison, speak to, speak to us. We Harrison, we need um clarification. A little bit. <laughs> I saw that comment and I, I wanted to so badly respond like explain this <laughs> explain Harrison what's up um so okay and then F. Breezy said Jason will never learn no girl needs to be hiding in a room while your friends are there get a bigger spot or let her join the festivities or let her go do her and see her later she do was you- doing her in the room she was being nosy and got her feelings hurt. That's her. That's, that's her. Fault. That's her problem. That's, that's her fault. Really, her problem. And she and she had no problem leaving. She said, yeah. "You want me to go? You want me?" He to said, head "No, out? I want you there when when they leave. they leave." But you didn't. You you should let her go because now y'all have problems. <laughs> now y'all got problems, right? Um, whatever think, she don't know won't hurt her. Because I think this happened in in Tough Love too. Monica was in the room while the friends were there. Oh, and she was listening in too. I think. Right. Then she come but out barking. I mean, girl, it's guy talk. Like. We have our girl talk. Well, usually we don't let the guy stay. No. Bye. You have to go. Bye. And I, would you have left? I probably would have left. Like, even if he said, no, nah, it's cool. You can stay in the room. No, nah, I'm good. Because <laughs> when I want my time, I don't want you. Yeah, I don't want you here in my space. <laughs> <laughs> I think, And I think that's healthy for couples to be yeah. able to have their girl time, have their guy time. You don't need to be up under each other. Her staying there was a choice. That was her, her choice. Her choice. Now she's crying. And he's confused. <laughs> See, see what happens when you don't speak, like, go with your own choices? See what happens? She should just went her own way. Because she suggested that I leave, that she leave. And yeah. he was like, nah, yeah. you can stay. Yeah. She was so happy that her man said, I want you here, that she stayed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now look at her, <laughs> crying. That's what she got. Okay. Um. So this comment from the Leah 2344. The Leah? That's her name, the Leah. She says, when will these sisters learn that if he cheated with you, he's going to eventually cheat on you? I saw that. And who cheated? That's what I was going to ask. She I said, she I swear some that... of these women never learn. What makes you think he won't do the same to you, sis? Who was cheating? Who was cheating? Maybe she Leah. thinks that Nia, Nina and Jason got Nina together Jason. from him cheating, but he didn't cheat. He didn't cheat. Did he cheat? No, I think they he just broke cheat. up. And um, Girl, maybe she's talking about... um. New boy and Robin, but he's quote unquote saying he didn't. He's not cheating either. Oh, and she don't even know. She don't know if they're actually in a relationship. She don't know. She don't know who this girl is, and um, she really shouldn't have gotten involved with him. Hello, because let me tell y'all. Let, let, me tell let y'all. her tell. Let me tell y'all from first hand because <laughs> she first knows. Hand. So old dude, he told me. He told me from jump that mm. he, you know. Me and my ex broke up. Very honest. Very honest. Oh so was, that's what lured me in. The honesty. <laughs> the honesty. <laughs> he said from the jump. I don't think we went on our for, did we go on our first date? Maybe after the first date he said it. But he said, Listen, I'm gonna let you know. Me and my ex are over, but we still live together. And I was like, <laughs> Red flag. That was that immediate was a red flag immediate for me. Red. Immediate red flag. Like, like crimson red. He's hello. <laughs> he says she got the room. I sleep on the couch. We don't interact. Nothing. It's over. But I'm just staying until I get myself together so I can move out. Um, maybe he's did he say anything about the lease? That was this this guy's story. Yeah. That the le- until the lease is up, he gonna stay. Mm-hmm. Fine. But he, this um the dude I was talking to, he said <clears throat> that he was. 
you know, saving his money so he could get his own place. But I mean, I, I yes, I said I was I, I was okay with it, mm-hmm. but I said we're going to just take things slow, right? As and you should have. As, hello, because I don't want to get invested and then look stupid. something. Yeah, look stupid or something. Ha- oh, we're going to get back together or oh, um, anything could have happened. Anything, anything. So I would have felt more comfortable if he had his own spot. So we did take things slow. It didn't work out of other reasons, of course, but. Um, that's just how it is. It's just a red flag. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that was um It was different. Yeah. That was different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And anything like if he didn't call, uh, you know, he couldn't talk while he was home or something like that, I'd be like, "Why? Why not?" Right, right. And even Robin, she noticed the red flags because she was like, he had said something like, "She's over me." And she yes. said, I like how you keep saying she's over you, but you don't yes. ever mention that you're over her. Hello. So she still invited him to her house even after that comment. So. Yes. And then, like, she, Bye, asked, what is she, she asked another question. Like, um, she has a very basic question. And he was acting so antsy, like, oh, now it's 21 <laughs> questions. Just answer the question. Now I know you're lying because you right. won't answer these simple and questions. And why can't I ask you questions? What's the problem? What's the problem? If nothing's going on, you should have no problem with these simple questions. Mm-hmm. These dudes out here lying, y'all. Not yeah. all of them. There's some good ones out there, y'all. I don't know where, but I heard that there's some good ones. I heard, no, I heard. I heard. I've heard about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. So that's all we have for this week's episode. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let us know at our website at seriouslypodcast.com. Follow us on all social media platforms at Seriously Podcast. Email us if you have a question, comment, or concern at seriouslypodcast at gmail.com. And, um, oh, yeah, happy um, Black History Month, y'all. Happy Black History Month. All right. We, we do, we're going strong this month. Yes, we are. We're going to keep it moving. Keep it, keep it positive. Keep, keep it, it positive. black. Keep it proud. Oh, black and proud. Keep it magical. Woo! Ooh. Keep it melanated. Oh! Oh, this is Brittany Love Lady Jones in the mouth. <laughs> it's just Mary. I'm, I'm just Mary. <laughs> Bye, guys. Later.